Hey guys, welcome to Just Be Handy. Today I need to repair the hose on this Bissell Spot Clean Pro Heat. They're also known as the Little Green Machine or Green Machine. Um, some come with heat, some don't. Some of, are, some of them are rounded. But they all kind of have this hose and after a while the hose gets brittle and breaks off here especially because of the way it's mounted and you can't just replace the hose by itself because it has the tube for the sprayer so you end up needing to replace the whole hose I did contact Bissell and they don't sell the hose by itself but I was able to find the hose and I'll leave in the description where you can get it uh, it is part number 1606127 and I'll also have the model numbers that it fits for the green machine. Uh, this one is the uh, model 5207U uh, model, uh, also an F model uh, would be the same, but um, definitely need to replace the hose and it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I should be able to get it to everything from underneath with a screwdriver. So what you need to do is first get the tanks off and put them to the side. Okay, and then you can look underneath and you'll see that there's screws here for where this mechanism goes and then the tube for uh, the feeder is going to have to come over here. So Let's remove this cover and then find out what's next. Okay, this is just a number two screwdriver. Now when I contacted Bissell, they told me I had to go to a service department to get the part and also to get the service. The service department wanted $45 for the hose and one hour labor, uh, which would have been more than just buying a new machine. So I don't know what I'm getting into right now, but I'm assuming it's not going to take an hour. Uh, you can see this one has a heating element at the bottom. Some of them don't. Uh, we really like using this machine. We use it for our pets and everything. So right now I've gotten uh, this cover here loose, and uh, i got to just see how this will come out. Um, just kind of wiggle things around sometimes. There we go. The plastic starts to come loose. And uh, there we go. I have not taken this apart before, so I don't know what to expect. There we go. Hey, that doesn't sound look too bad. So we have the hose going through here. Uh, we'll have to figure out where it terminates. And then um, I pulled this through. So it should be easy to replace here and then put it back where it belongs. Let's find out where that hose terminates before I pull this all apart. So uh, next we'll go to the top over here and then remove these, uh, this plate to see how that, that hose comes into play here. Okay, now that I've removed that cover, I can see the hose comes in here and has um, a clip on it. So what we'll need to do is get in there with some long nose pliers and then get at that clip right in there. Uh, maybe easier to just pull that motor a little bit, uh, take off those two screws that the motor is on so we can have a better access to getting the new hose onto it. And now that motor is free uh, to move a little bit so I can uh, wiggle it around and get get at the hose with the pliers so we'll get get in there and, and uh, take that black hose off of there okay so next thing we're gonna do is remove these wires so we'll take a picture and make note that the green is on the side the black is here and the red is down there and that'll allow me to pull this out more so the wire is really the limiting factor here and then this little zip tie I can take off and replace or I could just slide this uh, this line over so I'll deal with that right now to be able to get better access to that hose okay never 
work with this while it's plugged in always make sure it's unplugged did remove the um, wire and zip tie and you can see I have a lot more freedom to move this and be able to get to to this um, clip right here so I can take that black hose off all right so I was able to move that uh, little clip back and now I'm going to just pull on this line and see if I can get it to come loose just kind of grab it with the pliers kind of wiggle it a little to get it loose and then pull just ahead of it there we go and we have it loose now so we'll get this clip out of here because it would we don't want it to get stuck on the inside and then we should be able to pull everything out on uh, on on the other side there uh, feeding it through shouldn't be a problem I'm hoping now that it's not hooked up so here's on this side see it's just coming nice and easy through there so this is the old hose and then we'll put the uh, new hose in so as you can see it was really easy to pull that hose right out of here it just seems like it has a nice trough so we'll uh, get this new hose here and it comes wrapped up like this and we just have to undo all this uh, wrapping here and then try to get this going inside of here all right i verified the length of the hose between the two and i do need this plastic piece back here for the bottom cover so i have to remove these two screws before i put that cover back on okay so we'll get rid of this old hose now and now this is the new hose and we'll just mount it to the same tabs on here so that it will go in this same place here and here okay so next we want to feed this line through here till it comes out uh, the other side so guys I was able to push this flex hose through here uh, trying to push this hose it's just too flimsy they do give you a, a tip like that but what I'm going to do is get some tape and and connect the two together and then just feed this through um, this hose uh, this line stiff line P, uh, PEX type line goes in real easy alright guys I do have the tape here we're going to just feed this through and just kind of hold gently make sure you have enough line up oh, it just came out but we'll keep trying to push it I think it made it past the tough spot which it did and I have it here so it made it through and then we can go ahead and put this on and then deal with the other side so one one step at a time so let's get these screws in place now that we know we fed it through there we go all right so we have that buttoned up with the hose coming out of here now we need to make sure that hose can go into here so we will cut a little bit of it off because this was very long and then um, get in, in, in here like this. Alright guys, we did get the hose to the right length after a couple of trials. Now we'll take, remember your picture from before, the black is on the top and then the red goes to the bottom. All right. And then we will get this down in here and uh, fasten it down 
make sure this will go kind of like this. And that's basically how it's going to fit. And then we'll put the two screws that have the little tabs on there to hold this in place. Now we'll make sure that that line is not kinked, so look carefully that you have the proper length hose and there's no kinks in it. Uh, once you do that, you'll be all set. Alright, I didn't have any zip ties, so I just used a um, regular wire tie that you use with the bread that you get. So this will hold it in place, out of the way, and now we can put this cover back on here. So this cover to get it on here just kind of wiggle it in there we go and then three screws for that and really guys this is uh, the job is done all we have to do next is put the tanks on fill one with water see that it sprays and the suction is good and uh, after testing we'll be all done here is the tank for the vacuum. Here is the uh, tank for the water. Okay, plug it in. Now this is going to be loud so you might not be able to hear me, but I'll just uh, demonstrate the sprayer here and have it suck the water up. You can see it sucks the water right up, so it's working really well. Alright guys, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We do need all the subscribers we can get. And uh, this was on how to change the hose for your Bissell uh, green, little green machine or green machine with or without heat. This is a demo. I'll have the hose in the description below with all the models it fits. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and God bless.